You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Hello, 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 and welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. We have a very special guest for you guys, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, Text your buddies, family members, or even share it on social media right now and let them know that we are about to dive deep into another interview. Before I bring my guest on, I do want to talk about thankfulness. You know, life is always filled with abundance, and that abundance is not always evident. Thankfulness makes the abundance that is already there completely evident and available. It's easy to be thankful when all is well, when life is good, when there are no difficulties or dark clouds on the horizon. And it is during those times when problems and hardships abound that thankfulness can bring the most value. For being truly thankful enables you to see, to appreciate, and to make full use of the very real positive value that is always there, even in the most difficult of times. Thankfulness brings real abundance out of hiding by raising your expectations in a way that is genuine. Imagine the power of saying to yourself during a difficult experience, I am truly thankful for this opportunity. I know that sounds hard to do. Um, Believe me, I've had my share of dark clouds, dark moments, uh, difficulties, problems, obstacles, you name it. I, I don't fall short in that category. Uh, But thankfulness brings real abundance out of hiding, you know. No matter what the situation may be, such an attitude can connect you with the positive possibilities there are most certainly there. Don't postpone your thankfulness until you have something for which to be thankful. Realize that there's always something to be thankful for, and your thankfulness will enable you to see it. Take that from me, Coach Denny. That is my word. Are you ready? in the mix. Let's get this started. All right, all right. Again, welcome to the show. You're listening to VRL. That's Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go beyond the music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even past that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings. You know, the ones that are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. Well, guys, I would like to introduce to my fam a dynamic gospel trio made up of Norman Burns, Nigel Finley, and Kenny Vaughn with their electrifying debut single, You Gonna Need Him. N2K is bringing the joy of faith and high-energy beats to gospel music like never before. From a legacy of soul, funk, and powerful worship, they are here to share their journey faith and incredible story behind their music let's welcome n2k and dive into the rhythm the spirit and soul of their sound so please join me in saying welcome friend to n2k 
Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the show. Hey, Denny. How are you, man? How are you? Thank you for having us, hey, man. man. Absolutely. Appreciate how are you guys? You? For sure. Yeah, we're good, we're man. really happy to be here, brother. We're happy you got us on, man. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, gentlemen. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Uh, so just to kick things off, you know, your, your story and music are such a powerful combination. Uh, could you tell us what's been on your heart and mind as you bring you going to need him into the world and share this message of joy and faith? Well, if you don't mind, fellas, uh, I'd just like to thank Denny for having us on the show uh, this evening. Uh, you know, uh, myself, Kenny, and Nigel, we just felt that we needed to do uh, kind of an encouraging, upbeat uh, dance anthem that would kind of get people to recognize that in this life, uh, you really can make this journey on your own uh, merits, on your own accord, your needs, some supernatural intercession. And we believe that uh, invoking the Spirit, invoking God into your life will help you navigate the vicissitudes that we all inevitably have to face. So we came up with a track, uh, with a song that we thought would be very uplifting, a song that would encourage, but had a great beat to it, has a good message to it, reminding us all that we're, no man is an island, that we actually need the Creator, we need the Holy Spirit to kind of uh, help us uh, transverse this thing we call life and you know we we really are just grateful that the song is starting to really uh, get traction and it's encouraging a lot of people we've been getting a lot of positive vibes from it we're, we're grateful uh that the song is impacting people for positive for positive good absolutely do anyone want to add to that Nice. You want to go? Uh, you want me to go ahead? Oh, I mean, um, I was just gonna say. So I mean, it's so funny, Danny. They acted bashful now, but when I got him up yeah. on stage, I can't stop him. So it's funny. <laughs> Kenny, you can oh. go ahead if you want. If you guys. Go ahead, Kenny. Say, give him something. To me. What, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, I, I just remember that when you sent me the track. And you had a uh, rap on that was talking about how God always has your back, and um, and I just remember like just uh, thinking about you know how it made me feel, and um, I, I'm just I, I wanted to say I'm so proud of uh, both Nigel and Skip, and, or well Norman is the phone, uh, but his nickname is Skip. So um, <clears throat> yeah, Nigel asked. You know, we have this band that we play in, and we rock it all the time, Essex Funk, and we got used to singing with each other. There's other two other ladies with us, like five singers, it's really tight. But And then Nigel said, can I record with you guys? I know. And I thought about the song, The Skip Has Tent Me, and I just said, man, especially in the times that we're going through right now, and everything that's afoot, and how, you know, just a... Uh, it's wickedness in high places, right? So this is just a reminder that you're going to need them during these times. In the morning, early in the morning, the afternoon, late in the midnight hour, you're going to need them. And we just wanted to just pound that anthem home to everybody. Um, and, you know, it's kind of with the beat, it's uplifting, too. So I think, you know, people play it in the morning, I, I think it would really get them going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but, right. But the main thing uh, I think is 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 the is the brotherhood between uh, myself, Norman, and Nigel, and um, yeah, we we were doing a um, Martin Luther King benefit down at um, World Trade Center, and um, the most co best compliment I've ever gotten is this young sister came up to us. African American sister, she couldn't bend no more than like 32 or 33. After we finished, she said, "It was just so uplifting. I really enjoyed seeing you brothers together, like showing each other love and having each other's back and just giving each other love and, and at the same time giving God praise." And she just said it was so refreshing, and I never forgot that. And so whatever we do, I try to instill that. And you know, uh, uh, Norman Skip is our spiritual leader, you know, because he's been a deacon in the church for years, you know, New Hope and Hackensack. And um, 
I just um, think uh, his journey, you know, like being in the World Trade Center, 9-11, you know, he was on the 60-something floor when the first plane hit on the 80s, in the high 80s. And um, Oh, wow. And I just, I, just to watch him. And, you know, when he got out of there, that's when I know his spiritual journeys kind of began. And he just kept pulling me. Say, man, you got to write with me. You got to do it, you know. You got to do this for the Lord. And he's he's definitely our guiding light. Man, Coach Skinny, can, can, I, can I just, just real quick, I, I know you didn't, um, you know, want to hear uh, my testimony, but just quickly, very quickly. I was in the building on 9-11 when the planes hit. And, you know, uh, when it hit, it rocked me so um much to my core uh, when I did inev inevitably or eventually get out of the building I, I swore to God I said to God as I was getting out of the building and it, and it literally fell 10 minutes before I got out I said look God if you get me out of this the rest of the music that I do for the rest of my days I will honor you with those messages and with those songs that I do so that that kind of has stuff to that has a lot to do with why we do a lot of the material that we do all of us are men of faith we all know that God is our source so we just believe that the music that we make uh, it shouldn't be stuff that's just random and doesn't add any uh, texture to people's lives any quality to their lives so we just kind of want to do music that is not only uplifting uh, for their uh, physical uh, well-being, but for their spiritual well-being as well. Absolutely, absolutely. What kind of music were you uh, writing or performing before 9/11? Uh, uh, we, you know, I, I was doing uh, spiritual music then too, but we did a lot of um, R and B. We did soul. Actually, our band is actually a funk band. We do all the classics from the 70s and the 80s. Uh, uh, Kishaka Khan, Stevie Wonder, Luther. We do all of those stuff yeah, now. Frankly but Beverly, man. Frankly Beverly. We do all of that now. We yeah, bring yeah. joy to those people. Uh, right. But we, we get a, a, a sense of sincere joy when we do the gospel, the songs that uplift this, our, our creator and just speak to yeah. the benefits of having a relationship with him. So we get real yeah. joy out of that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it, so we're, we're, we're too prong, you know, like, Right, secular and just uh, also the gospel aspect too as well. So, um, and 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 then that's where we Essex Funk is where we picked up Nigel because you know yeah you know we're old heads. Nigel's a little bit younger than us. And, well, I was uh, gonna say I think that I, you guys yeah have, not, uh, Nigel is the, Nigel. Nigel's the man. <laughs> I'm I'm, yeah. the, I'm the I'm the young uh, guy in the group, but um I was just gonna say it's both of these guys um just. Watching them, um, you know, in our band is kind of um, what inspired me to uh, to work with them. This is where I met them, actually, or kind of kind of connected with them further, um, and kind of the energy that they bring to their performances and their work, just just the the work that they do. And they they both have um, have worked on many tracks you know, in the past, and, um, and, have, and have been have have, uh, uh, have done have worked in the industry for a, a long time. So it's just like you know, I'm, I, mean, I I wanted to get with them and I wanted to collaborate with them so this project was really it's just, it just brought joy out of me um, and as, as they uh, both mentioned about our faith um, you know it, it, it's something that I always um, held true and held, held really close to my heart right. and this kind of gave me an opportunity uh, to just express it you know through this song so yeah Absolutely. amen that's good Nigel yeah we we love Nigel he, he, he brings that's the energy <laughs> I told him exactly. when, when I grow up, I want to be like him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to be like him. Oh, right. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. So, Nigel, before you came into the mix, um, how did how did Kenny and uh, uh, Norman meet? Oh, okay. Well, Kenny and I, uh, Kenny and I have known each other for many many years. Kenny actually was the writer on Eddie Murphy's Boomerang soundtrack. He wrote the uh, main song when Eddie Murphy makes love to Robin Gibbons for the first yeah, time. Feels like heaven. Heaven. Feel like heaven. Yeah, and heaven. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And, well, that, you right. got Kenny Vaughn on the phone. Kenny's Kenny's still yeah, getting checks yeah. from that. Spending time with you, la la, feels like heaven. That one, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you know what I was thinking too, Skip? <laughs> I was thinking, like, even on the regular side, he's still, God's still going to get his uh, little dibs in there with me. Feels yeah, like that's heaven. right. Feels like heaven. <laughs> yeah, you still prop. You like, no, up it's God, almost like no matter what I try to do, I really spend a lot of time trying to do, like, you know, soul R&B and stuff, but. God always pull my coattail. If, if I know we're gonna write, when I know, you know how I know when Skip and I are gonna and we're gonna write something, is he'll just turn up the volume of a certain like hook or something, and it'll just keep coming and coming, and then I'll say, okay, God, okay, yes, I get it. All right, God, I get it, God, I get it, God. I know what you want me to do. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah, we, met, you- we met back in, uh, in, the, in the, you know, in um. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to mean to cut you off, but we went back in the late '80s or mid '80s, you know, like in, in New York, you know, with the whole hip hop scene, working, you know, Def Jam and Skip worked with some uh, the Sugar Hill Gang and all that, like uh, all yeah. the. Yeah. I, I was signed to MCA back yeah. in the day. It's funny, yeah. Skip, you know, the cool one of the coolest things uh, from that is like when they take us to the show and we're backstage and we always get to do the prayer with them. That is true. I have very good friends with the Sugar Hill Gang. I was with them since the inception, and we get to go on tour with them a lot. And uh, whenever we go backstage and go, before they go on, they have us pray before they go on. So their shows will be have an anointing on them, and they can affect the crowd for positivity and, and bring joy to the crowd. So, yeah, even, even they know where their source is derived from and where they get this their energy and their strength. Yeah. Well, they say we're two or more gather, right? That's yeah. what he's saying. Yeah. He, he's in the midst. He is in the midst. In the midst. So uh, we didn't mean to cut you off and take over the interview, Coach Dean. <laughs> Dean, uh, Dean, you tell us what you want to want to know. Tell, ask us what you want to know. Well, you guys are the stars, so it's it's all about you. <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, talking about the song, uh, you're going to need him. It touches on dependence of faith and divine guidance. Um, why are these things important for you to share, and how have they shaped your lives? Well, I, I know for me, and I'll be quick, I know for me personally, uh, there's the challenges of, you know, losing my mom, uh, the major, major things that happen in our life. I don't think in of myself trying to handle it just in my sheer humanity I would be able to do it so I realized that there is a supernatural strength that I get from my relationship with God that allows me to uh, move forward when you know sometimes you, you, you're human it's, you want to give up you want to say no mas or no more I can't take the pain no more I can't take the you know the disappointment I can't take the hurt and you know God picks you up and says no son you know I didn't bring I didn't take you this far to leave you so he you know he continues to push you forward so you can continue to glorify him because you can't glorify him if you're dead so as long as I'm here and I got breath in my body I'm gonna just talk about the good news and the the inspiration and the hope I have uh, because of my relationship with my Savior indeed and if I I was going to uh, jump in just a little bit um, is that um, for me, um, you know, kind of just my faith um, just in the past few years, um, just as I've been getting older, you know, I've started to, um, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe some of us, maybe for me, you know, there's years that I, I spent away from my faith. Um, and, you know, as I get older and I'm starting to realize how embedded in um, how, how much it, that I really actually lean on it um, to really get me through, you know, the things um, that life, you know, starts to actually, you know, hand you as you, as you actually go through this life um, here. Um, and it's just really, you know, there's, there's a joy in tackling and, and discovering yourself every day um, and how you're going to make it through um, and how you're going to, you know, not just survive, but thrive, you know, in this life um, with, you know, with, with a, you know, with a vigor. Um, and that's, I think, what the deliverance and the, you know, the faith and the, and the joy um, that, this, that I want to bring through this, with this song. So yeah, that was that was that was beautiful, Nigel. That was, yeah. that was beautiful. And, and you know what? I, what I want to add to that, like when you were talking earlier with uh, Norman about like leaning on on God, you know, and the Holy Spirit. It's like, and that's what it really is. You're gonna need them. You know, that's the affirmation. It's like you know, we whole like let go and let God. Like, don't try to control everything. I mean, like. There are many people like going through, like, you know, their mom passed away and then one of their aunts, you know, uh, the uncle died and you have to try to take care of the aunt and then like the 
the, the cousin has a stroke you know it's like it's like come on man you you got to lean you can't you can't do this on your own you know what i mean you're gonna need them pray in the morning and afternoon and the evening and late night yeah, you know, yeah so that, i mean that it's like it's an affirmation of that fact you know like let go like you know god is in control just have faith you know that's a hard thing to do absolutely absolutely i have a, a a real deep question for you fellas before we play the single um i had a kid the other day ask me why did this happen to me why did god let yeah. this happen um how do you how do you keep from blaming god or shifting the blame towards god when tragedy strikes i i got a really good thing on that you know like everything nature if you look to nature it explains everything like the science of everything we everything has been created it has followed the rules of nature and one of the rules of nature before you sprout like a flower or any type of seed it has to dig down and go, you know, against you know, against the sunlight, and dig so hard roots down deep into the dirt, into the dank, you know. And um, I think lots of times, I know with me, like I've had a lot of deaths in my family, and I've had to take and have responsibility caregiving. One thing that it has taught me by going through those hard times is to be grateful. And sometimes I think uh, it not, it's not that God lets things happen. Sometimes, you know, uh, it's part of the growth of life where you go through something and it makes you stronger. And uh, I, I, I would guarantee that that person, if he could fast forward like four or five, ten years down the road, they would, they would look back and say, oh, you know. Everything works together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose, even the bad thing. That's a good answer, Kenny. I, and you know what? Sometimes when you're going through, you can't see that. No, but not at all. Tend to re, you you recognize, and it, it's normally an afterthought, too, because when you're going through it and you're catching it, you're, you're mad at God, you're mad at your circumstances, you're like, why would you allow this? I'm a good person. But, uh, you know, our creator is not respective of if we're good or bad. We all have to go through this, this vicissitude of life. And there, you, nobody's getting out of here alive. So you have to understand that on that road, on that journey, we all are going to face what seems like insurmountable anguish and, and right, pain. Right, right. Yeah. But Same mm -hmm. when you rely on your, your faith and your hope, in your in your relationship you recognize that god will get you through and even though at the time you can't see it you don't believe it you're mad at god as an afterthought in hindsight when you recognize how far when you move past because time heals all wounds and all pain you look back and you say wow that's why that happened or that's how that happened and you you start to get somewhat of a release even though at the time it's the most uncomfortable thing you're going through you recognize in hindsight and looking back that this is part of his plan and even though i don't like his plan sometimes i really don't get to pick the plan i'm 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 not the creator right i'm the create created and humans often forget that part we are created in his image but we don't and it's hard to, to accept that we don't get to call the shots we don't get to decide when dad dies or when a child dies or when we lose a job or you know where our health starts to fail we we don't get to pick that because we're not the ones that created we're not the creator or we the created so the best we can do is trust that god will in his own wisdom work things out for good, work things out for your good for those who love him and that's what has been allowed me to see uh many decades <laughs> and allowed me to navigate situations that i don't think in of myself i would have been able to navigate and if, if you think about it we are an example of that because uh uh, Norm and I recently both lost our moms. I lost as mine as recently as October 30th of last year, and um, yeah, and, I lost mine Thanksgiving and, Day. And, yeah. and 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 we were both uh, we there for each other. I sing it uh, 
you know what I'm saying, mom's funeral, he came to my mom's funeral, spoke, you know, and we, we brought each other through. And if you think about it, everyone in this room, uh, on this call would agree that losing your mom would be a bad thing. But had that not happened at the exact moment that it did and with our, you know, bonding and everything, we would not be on this call talking to you. And we would not have written that song. That's so, right. That's so true, Kenny. Example. That, I guess that's that how you is respond. True. It's how you respond to bad things, right? That mm-hmm. That's a good. That's a great answer, actually. It's how you respond to bad things. Mm. That's right there. Yep. Because we're gonna we're gonna have bad things. It's how you and, respond. And, and, and you know what our uh, our motto is now is like, it has God has grounded us down to like just grind you know grind so that he can or he can build us back up how he wants to build us and right now where he has Norman Skip Burns and I and, and, and Nigel is that any place we talk or any place we perform any place we, we got to we get to show our light that's our sweet spot and that's and we just move from moment to moment when we get the chance to talk to you that's our sweet spot when we get chance we're going to be on stage you know, um, the 26th Saturday, we're headlining this thing with four other bands. That's our sweet spot, you know. And that it, it really taught me to be grateful for the moment because you just really, really don't know how many days you have on this earth. Absolutely. All right, gentlemen, without any further ado, we have You're Gonna Need Him, and we'll be right back to put our guests in our traditional hot seat to where they get to perform for us if they want to. They can sing, rap, poetry, spoken word, tell a joke. We love that jokes. Uh, tell a story from their life, uh, give some advice, or do nothing at all. That is cool as well. But for right now, here it is, You're Gonna Need Him by N2K. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. You gon' need him when the lies come out. You gon' need him when the knives come out. You gon' need him when the flies come out. Call upon the savior, yeah, he'll help you out. You gon' need him when the lies come out. You gon' need him when the knives come out. You gon' need him when the flies come out. Call upon the savior, yeah, he'll help you out. Of course you didn't know. I'm going with my savior anyway, let me go. He always made a way when I'm really feeling low. He's always rolling with me when I'm riding on the road. Trust that. When I'm really feeling low, he even give me money when I'm running out of dough. Don't take it for granted, cause you know you never know. Even Bruno even know. Yep. Check facts. Doing things you never do. That's right. Check facts. Look what he is going to do. He's the guy that is great and he's loving yep. you. And he don't even drop a BMW. Nope. So the next time you go and have an attitude, mm-hmm. go and give God all your gratitude. That's right. He's great and he don't stay mad at you. He's love. Won't you give him all your gratitude?
All right, all right. Welcome back again. You're going to need them. N2K, N2K with a powerful track. Let's go ahead and invite the fellas back to the show. Hello, hello, hello. You are back live with us and in our hot seat. Are you going to perform for us? Sure, whatever you need, whatever you want. Hey, hey, before... You ready? Hey, go ahead, go ahead, Kenny. Uh, okay, well, what did you want to do, Skip? I, I, I didn't want to cut you I was off. Just gonna, I was just going to bust him with the verse because, of course, you didn't know. I'm going with my savior anyway, let me go. He always made a way when I'm really feeling low. He's always rolling with me when I'm riding on the road. Trust that. Trust when that. I'm really feeling low. He even give me money when I'm running out of dough. Don't dough. take it for granted because you know. Don't take it for granted because you know you never know. God has been so good. Even bro even know. Yep. Check facts. Do what things you never do. Check uh-huh. facts. Look what he's brought you through. He's Ooh. a guy that is great, and he's loving you, and he don't even drive a BMW. So the next time you go and have an attitude, go give God all your platitudes. He is great, and he don't stay mad at you. He is love. Won't you give him all your gratitude? You gonna need him when the lies come out. You gonna need him when the knives come out. You gonna need him when the flies come out. Call upon the Savior. He gonna help you out. You gonna need him. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna need him. Need him. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna yeah. need them. Yeah. You're gonna need them. In the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Hey, um, do me a favor, though. Um, say your entire full name. I-, I got a little surprise for you Demetrius Reynolds. Demetrius Reynolds. All right, Demetrius. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hit you. Because uh, to prove my point, uh, I every every moment we get is our sweet spot. We never we don't know the next time we'll see you. When's your birthday? May twenty fourth. May twenty. So I'm gonna kick this for you. We're gonna pretend it's May twenty fourth next year, right? All right. Demetrius, here's to you. That's right. It's your birthday. We uh-huh. love you. Yes, we do. In a very special way So give us a smile full of cheer We're happy that you are here Happy birthday All your friends are with you Happy birthday Demetrius, may all your wishes come true Happy birthday Demetrius, we light the candles for you as we're singing happy birthday to you. That's your early birthday gift. (laughs) Wow, that was so incredible. I'm going to clip that and just save that for me. Yeah, Thank you so important. much. Oh, you know what? That I, and I think that's the coolest thing that we have, Demetrius, uh, is the bond between myself, Nigel, and Norman Skip Burns, is, and it comes out on stage. And that's what I think really came out in the video. I mean, we weren't, we didn't even have to pretend, <laughs> you yeah. know, because the guy, hey, guy, coach, guy, coach, did you get the coach? Did you get the video? I did not get the video. Now I have to go oh watch it. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. I got it. Oh, if you yeah. type in on YouTube N2K, you're going to need him official Vivo video. You'll see what what these clowns look like on the other end of this line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to watch the camaraderie. That is yeah, yes, great. Yes, exactly. That is great. But you know, you're going to need that. We've been performing because... on stage for the last two years yeah. nonstop, so it's like our chemistry is off the chain. Yeah, All right. really I can't. Need. I can't wait to see video. it. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, uh, where can our listeners connect with you online and check out more music? So, um, of course, you can go to N2K uh, and look us up on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, IG, uh, Twitter. If you go and just hit us, you're going to need it. We come up everywhere. All right, all right. And listeners, just in case you didn't get the links, I will have them in the description of this episode. 
and in the show notes. So all you guys have to do is just click the links. I want to thank N2K for sharing their powerful journey and passion with us. Today we explore the spirit, the joy, and faith, and thankfulness that bring you going to need him to life. Uh, you guys, yeah. music is an inspiring reminder of the importance of faith and community and camaraderie, which I'll get to watch later on. And it's been a true <laughs> honor to hear your story. So please join me in saying thank you to N2K for this uplifting conversation. And to our listeners, don't forget to subscribe to N2K as well as Vigilantes Radio. Leave a rating, share with a friend. And... Uh, yeah until next time keep dancing keep believing and keep sharing the joy thank you guys so much thank you thank you man we appreciate we're grateful for you appreciate you man grateful for blessings blessings to you my brother blessings to you blessings to you guys as well thank you and have a great night thank you Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app, Podcast Addict, or over at our website, which again is only one media group.com. And that goes for every single show that we've ever aired. If you would like to request some music or send something for me to play, email it to vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. That is V as in Victor. And here's my disclaimer. We are genre free. We do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone. And actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show, so deal with it. <laughs> Just kidding. On behalf of myself, Denny, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in, either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stuffed up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, TikTok, and all social media sites, as well as Spreaker, YouTube, we always follow back. Okay, well, just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself. Peace, love, grilled cheese, and talk with you later. You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.